Hi, JK friends. It's Dino Dig Day, and I am here with my dinosaur, and we are going to share one of our favorite books with you. This is a book that we both think is pretty funny. We both think it's funny. It is called We Don't Eat Our Classmates. Now, my dinosaur friend thinks it's funny because he learned how to not eat his classmates. And it's really fun for him to watch Penelope learn the same thing. So this book is called We Don't Eat Our Classmates. Do we eat our classmates? No, we don't. By Ryan T. Higgins. He's the author. We don't eat our classmates. Ooh, wow, look at all those cool pictures of dinosaurs. Nice. Hmm. I wonder who drew them. I wonder if it's the dinosaur's classmates. Let's find out. We don't need our classmates. Ooh, Penelope has a special message for us. Hey kids, you will never be eaten by a T-Rex. They are extinct. I know. Very surprising. I promise. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T Rex starts school. Do you remember your first day of school? Were you, were you a little nervous? Yeah. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Are ponies for eating? Oh, wow. I wonder if she learns that in another book. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. Whoa. Yeah. Eh, eh, you could you would probably eat that, I think. Yeah. Finally, the big day came. And Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were huh. Do you think they'll be dinosaurs? Maybe all of her classmates are lions. Maybe all of her classmates are elephants. Maybe they're penguins. Maybe they're seahorses. Maybe her classmates are frogs. Maybe her classmates are whales. Maybe her classmates are pandas. Let's find out. Children? Whoa! They're human children. Whew, I didn't see that coming. I wonder what she'll do. So she ate them. Uh-oh. Because children are delicious. Yeah, I know that you think they are, and I know you learned how to not eat them. Penelope Rex, said Mrs. Noodleman. We don't eat our classmates. Please, Spit them out at once. So she did. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. Oh, man, I know if I was starting a new school and one of my classmates was a dinosaur that ate me and spat me out, I might not want to play with her. Connection if you're feeling the same way. Let's see what happens. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. That was nice of her. You can sit here. Hmm. It doesn't look like there's a lot of room at the table with those 300 tuna sandwiches. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her. Hmm, I think she might feel sad. It was lonely. Hmm. 
When she got home, her dad asked her about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe sort of just a little. She, she totally ate them, right? Yeah, she, she totally ate them. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. Hmm. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really hard. But poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ate William Emoto again. And they were all afraid of her. Oh, look at that girl. She's like, ah, over there. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I would be scared. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. Hmm, very interesting. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will, will you be my friend? So she sticks her hand in his tank. I wonder what's going to happen. Chomp! <gasps> Walter bit her fingers. <gasps> cried Penelope. He's eating my finger. Wah! She's very dramatic, don't you think? Yeah, I think she's pretty dramatic. Once Penelope found out what it's like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. <gasps> so she didn't feel hungry for children anymore. I guess she's just going to keep eating those tuna sandwiches. She stopped eating her classmates. Even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. Oh, that must have been hard. That must have made her smell delicious to Penelope. And soon, Penelope made friends. Found you. Want a brownie? I helped make them. And let's move this so we can see those brownies. Yum! Penelope brought in brownies for her friends. And they're all lining up to eat them. Now, even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter, the goldfish, stares right back at her and licks his lips. Yeah. That scares her. Because dinosaurs are delicious. Oh, and there's all that art again. All those cool pictures. Those, so those must be pictures that the children in Penelope's class drew for her. And there are those sandwiches. All right, friends, we hope that you have a wonderful dino dig day.